either viewed from on high or on the ground. Aarhus is as colourful as it is charming, but especially so when the world's greatest badminton players are in town. For them, there's no time for any sightseeing because this is strictly business. A very warm welcome along to our continuing coverage of the Thomas and Uber Cup. And here are the map, or oh, here is the map of the competing nations from Japan, far right of your screen, all the way across Asia to Europe. You see the likes of Scotland and Denmark, Germany, Spain, and others across to Canada on the left-hand side, and even Tahiti as well. If you were with us yesterday, you saw some fabulous action. And we're going to try and match it today, and no reason why we won't be able to. We're inside the Ceres Arena. And on court one, it's going to be uh, Uber Cup action. Here's how the tournament schedule breaks down. We're on the second day today of the group stage. Uh, then day six, it's the Thomas Cup uh, and the uh, Uber Cup quarterfinals. Uh, Thomas Cup quarters are on Friday along with the Uber semis. Then Saturday's a huge day as well and the final of the Thomas Cup on Sunday. Uh, in the groups, this is the Uber Cup. We're going to concentrate on Group B, our matches India against Spain. Japan, the holders, are in Group A, Indonesia, the other powerhouses in that group. You'd expect Korea and Chinese Taipei to go through from Group C. Uh, group D is a really tough one. Look at that. China, Denmark, Malaysia. Only two, of course, can go through. The top two in each group will qualify for those quarterfinals. Well, here's our schedule today, kicking off momentarily with India versus Spain in the Uber Cup. Then we switch to the men at 1.30. Jill Clark will take you through Japan versus Canada. And then the women back again later this evening. Uh, the home nation, Denmark, up against Canada. It's a spectacular arena here. Can seat around 3,500 people. And we are preparing for India against Spain. No Carolina Marin, of course, for the Spanish. She's still recuperating. Hopefully she'll be fit for the World Championships in her own country. That's in December. Couldn't stop the Spanish huddle, though. Very impressive. Viva España. Small team but uh, no lack of enthusiasm there, that's for sure. Well, we kick off with the former world number one, uh, Saina Nawal against Clara Azamendi, the latter eight years, the Indians junior. Another singles to follow as Malvi Cabenza, just outside the top 100, takes on Beatrice Corrales, who's just inside it. It's Cresto and Panda versus Lopez and Uzle next in the first of the two doubles before we switch back to singles for the battle of the 18-year-olds. Aditi Bat versus Ania Setien. And our finale is a chance to see the evergreen doubles queen, Ashwini Ponapa. She's partnered with Reddy against Azamendi and Corrales. Pretty much all set fair then. As we look at this Noel versus Azamendi battle, a little bit of a contrast in their respective records. Saina Nawal, former world number one, of course, 31 years young. She's still ranked inside the top 20 in the world. Newell making her way out. Three time Olympian. And of course, she got a bronze in London, the 2012 Games.
So here's Tara Azamendi. Inside the world's top 60 now. First meeting between these two. Service. Enjoy again. Seamus Halpin from Ireland is the uh, chair umpire who was conducting the coin toss there. Well, she doesn't need much of an introduction, really. Up at uh, number 19 now, she obviously was a world number one. That was back in uh, April of 2015, but she still loves the badminton. She's won more than 24 international titles in addition to that Olympic bronze that I mentioned. And she's got a couple of bronze medals, actually, in this event. The Uber Cup third place in 2014 and again two years later. And you throw in a world championship silver six years ago and you get some idea of what a legend this woman is in the sport also twice a commonwealth games champion Simon Naywell and her opponent ranked at 58 that is her best Clara Azamendi who's 23 years of age tall girl six foot bronze medalist at the 2015 European Games and she has actually won six international tournaments over the last uh, five years. The first of which, she was just 18 years old, that was in Bulgaria. They're not the major tournaments, but the uh, international events. But they still take some winning. There's Seamus Halpin of Ireland, he'll be in charge of this match. And he will be uh, assisted by service judge, there he is, Gunnar Lutheris of Latvia. Lost none of her appetite for the game, no while, and obviously, you know, the age she is, she's probably going to slip down the rankings further. But you know, she's been there, done it, seen everything. And the fact that she's still keen to play and represent her country in these team events, I think, speaks volumes. India, represented by Saina Nuwal. Represented by Clara Azumende. India to serve. Lobo. Play. So, no well to get us underway in this first match. Five match time. We will play all five, regardless of the score. Service over. One love. And the reason for that is if there is a, a tie in terms of rubbers one, then uh, the tiebreakers uh, include matches one, games one, points even. So that's why at this stage we play all five matches and obviously also gets uh, the maximum number of players in each squad involved in the group stage. First sign of the wonderful touch of Sonny Newell. I don't think she'll particularly want to play too many long points. I wonder whether Azamendi can extend these rallies a little bit. Not if Newell's touch is as good as that.
first time she's used power, and it was a precise shot that gave Azamendi an issue. Azamendi, by the way, is going to be in the doubles with Beatrice Corrales, who we will see in the next women's singles. It normally goes singles, doubles, singles, doubles, singles, but obviously when you have players involved in more than one match, they try and give them a, as much of a, a breather as possible. So that's why we've got two singles up front and then the doubles, the first of two doubles. Mendy is a good enough player that she certainly can't take any liberties. Statistics and form would suggest that woman is a big favourite, but if she gives uh, Azamendi any encouragement, she may be able to take advantage. And she's made a, a very solid start, the 23-year-old. women but just that extra little bit of, of nous from Nawal tactically it was a, a great point for her lovely shot to draw her opponent in did well to get to it actually as a Mendy but then obviously defenseless against that into the unguarded court got some power she really has. <laughs> Indian sports fans, it doesn't matter what the sport is, I don't know if it's badminton or, or cricket or whatever, among the world's best, the most enthusiastic and patriotic, and just love flying the flag. I'm not sure we've had a rally so far, more than about 10 or 12 shots. Suspected that would probably be the way the match will go. It's going to drift way wide. A little bit of drift in the hall. It's going uh, left to right as you look at it on your screen. Club in, hasn't she? No, well, for sure. Some uh, spectators were here early. It's only quarter to nine in the morning here, local time in Aarhus. But uh, pretty much the whole of the Indian squad is in the seats cheering on their first player. Not the only one that's got soft hands. Judgment from the wall. That was in by a fair margin. Eight. 
Got that one right though. Just wide of the sideline. So it will be the Indian with a narrow lead as they go for the interval. Very positive approach, but she missed that by a distance. Absolutely no question that Maywell wants to play short points here. And you wonder whether Reza Mendy has twigged that. She can try and just extend these rallies. Easier said than done against a player of Maywell's ability, but might reap benefits for her. It was a pretty good shot. Deceive the Indian. Oh, excellent play from Ezra Mendy. consistent with those clears and giving no one a problem just off balance there well an upset in the offing here in our opening game It will be fascinating to see. I mean, if Azamendi gets towards uh, the real business end of this game with the lead, whether she can uh, cope with the pressure of it. She hit the line with that. And they well had a good view of it, knew it had clipped the line. No point in wasting a challenge. They've both got two of those, by the way. We do have Hawkeye here. Was a little tentative, wasn't it, from Azamendi? First time shown signs of just uh, maybe a few nerves there. Back within a point now, and they will. Oh, that's magnificent. And you know what? She actually thought about leaving that for a moment, I think. Just a slight delay, then she decided to play it. It was a good decision. see spectators back watching top level badminton. I think she just spotted us there. There is a big TV screen in the arena. Four points in a row for 
Tony Newell just to check as a Mendy's momentum. Just allowing Newell a little drink break. Also giving Azamendi a little bit of time to think about the fact that she had a lead and it's been whittled 18, away in the blink 16. of an eye. And that's what top players do. Oh, well, that's beautiful again. That really was a classy shot. hear the audible groan around the arena because she's got she's got a lot more fans than, than Clara Azamendi has judging by the, uh, the the noise levels in the arena and, uh, they, a bit of a mass intake of breath when she missed that shot important point this difference between uh, 2017 and 1918. So now back on a knife edge. And that was a good tactical victory for Azamendi. She read that. Anyone's now. Oh. What a time, what a time to produce that. 20, point, I'm sure that Asamendi could have done anything about it. Game point then for Newell. Well, that was a, that was a little 20, nervy one, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not surprised she's Having a little practice on that shot. Oh, a fantastic from Azamendi. And now she has a game point. Saina Noel challenges. Well, she's challenging it, but I don't think there's any chance this was out. This looks either inside the line or bang on the line. Either way, it's not going to get overturned, I'm sure. First game point for the Spaniard. That's a good shot. That's right, and that is the game. 21-19, 22-20 in favor of Azamendi. And a bit of a turn up here. 22, 20. And she really has had no one in trouble with those clears, particularly to the backhand side. And no well, that's a that's a problem here. Well, no one has retired here. Now whether she's just tweaked something, I'm not sure. 
Uh, but that is the end of the match. Well, it's a, I mean, it's a great victory for Azamendi. I'm not sure she'd want to win in that fashion. But maybe there's just a maybe slight injury issue that she's exacerbated in that opening game. She seemed to be moving okay. But uh, the fact of the matter is that Clara Azamendi has won the opening match after Maywell retires, having lost the first game, close first game. Always disappointing when a match isn't played out to its conclusion. I'm sure if Naywal could have continued, she would have done. Well, obviously, if this is a long event, you've got any issues uh, injury-wise, then you don't want to make them any worse. Appear to be in any pain when she was playing shots in an opening game. Unless maybe she's feeling unwell, I'm not sure. But either way, she has retired, and that means Spain take an early lead in the tie. So there's the confirmation, 22-20, as Amendi declared the winner. Yeah, just to correct that, what was on your screen, it, it was no well that retired. So as Amendi uh, will get the victory and uh, she has given Spain a one love advantage in what is these nations first match in group B so we're going to concentrate on the women's singles next after a short break uh, Malvika Bansard will take on Beatrice Corrales Corrales with a higher world ranking trying to give Spain a two love lead So while we wait for that uh, second singles, let's have a little look back at what we've just witnessed over the last quarter of an hour. So just to confirm, Spain lead by one match to love in this uh, five match tie. I'm just hearing that the uh, players for the second match, obviously because that first one uh, was very, very short with the retirement, they're not quite ready. So we're going to take a, a short break and we'll be back uh, in a few minutes time with the second singles.